And this is Adam Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. And I'm here uh, with a, another one of my disk speed tests. Um, I do these disk speed test series to compare drives to one another so that you could see exactly how your drive is comparing against an alternative drive and how two drives can go up against each other. So this will be the Lacid Porsche Design Slim Drive USB 3.0 solid state drive we're going to try out today. The Lacid Porsche Design Slim Drive USB 3.0 comes with a variety of features most of which are fairly attractive. Its thin aluminum closure makes it dissipate heat quickly and allows it to fit in a small pocket. Its USB 3.0 design and SSD drive are designed for super fast transfer between your unit and the Porsche Design Slim Drive. We'll be using Blackmagic Design's disk speed test to uh, benchmark this drive. We will go to the options, look for our Want SSD. It's the Lacie drive that we have pre-programmed. Um, we could also go back again to select drive just to make sure we have the right drive confirmed. We see Want SSD is still highlighted. We can then go to our options and select a five gigabyte stress test, which would be more in line for large files or video files. And we just started off the test and here we go. Our first measurement comes in at um, in the just under 200 on the right side. So we're at 192, 193 on the right side. And on the read side, we're at uh, about double that, 434. Um, so again, the upper 190s for right, the mid 400s for the read side, which is to be expected of an SSD of this class. If you want to see what the drive is like with a one gigabyte stress test, we could do that too. We just go over here to set our options, select one gigabyte, and start the stress test. Well, that's just about it for uh, this test. We've been doing a test on a LC Porsche Design SSD um, hard drive. Uh, my name is Adam Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice. And this has been one of many disk speed test series that I have done to judge true rewrite speeds on devices.